Hi, this is Udi with DIYphotography.net and today I want to talk about CRIs and LEDs. Now obviously when you go shopping for LEDs, usually we look about intensity and brightness and color temperature and this is okay because those are things that greatly impact our pictures. But one thing we tend to overlook is an index called CRI and CRI has a great impact on our picture. Actually CRI determines how well color rendering will be under that light. So what is CRI? CRI stands for Color Rendering Index, and this is a number that determines how well color renders under each light. The higher the number, the better the light. Let me explain. You already know that not all lights are created equal. For example, an incandescent light is unlike a candlelight, which is unlike an LED light, which is unlike a fluorescent light, which is unlike an halogen light. They all have different attributes, and not all whites are the same whites under those lights because the white light that we're seeing is not actually white. It's combined of all the colors in the spectrum. As we've seen in Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album, the light, when it goes through a prism, separates into all the lights in the spectrum. And this is what happens when we're looking into sunlight. If you take sunlight and run it through a prism, you'll see all the colors of the spectrum. But if you're looking at LED light or a fluorescent light and run it through a prism, you will not see all the colors of the spectrum. You'll probably see a spike at the blue and another spike at the green and very, very little red. Now the quality of that mix of light is measured with a CRI. CRI is a tricky index to measure. We're going to use a spectrometer. We're going to use this one. It's called Passport Lighting and it's by Scientific Allies. It's a wonderful, wonderful device, very, very accurate. And this is what we're going to use. The way it works, you point it towards the light source, you measure it with your iPhone or with your Android, and it will run a battery of tests. And it will give you the CRI and a bunch of other tests called RAs. What are RAs, you ask? RAs are a battery of 15 tests that determine how well each color renders under light. For example, one of the RAs measures green, one of them measures red, Usually the tricky one is R9, which measures a strong red, and this is almost absolutely absent in most LEDs. Some of the RAs are not actually measuring colors. They're measuring Caucasian skin color or Asian skin color or the color of, of a reflected olive leaf. And this is okay because those are the colors that we want to see perfect when we're taking a video. Now let's look at the sky. As you can see, the sky has a pretty balanced uh, spectrum. It has all the different colors, roughly in the same quantities. And this makes sense because the sun renders all the colors almost perfectly. And now let's take it all the way to the other side and look at a cheap LED. As you can see, the CRI is very, very low. Actually, if you look at the battery of tests, R9, which shows how red color renders, is absent. It's not there completely and actually rendering Red light under LED is pretty crappy. We've tested a bunch of LED lights. We've tested Amaran light, um, other lights from Aperture. We've tested Roscoe, um, a cheap LED that we made from eBay. We tested a no brand name LED that I have behind me. It's the big panel over there. And we tested a cheap light bulb that you got off of the Extreme. And the results are quite interesting. All the cheaper LED lights measure between 70 and 75 CRI. Now, this is not even photographic quality. For photographic quality, you want to have a CRI of at least 80, preferably 85. One way to overcome this is to shoot black and white. If you're doing work where, where color rendering is important to you, like portraiture or product photography, you want the CRI to be above 85. Now, the light bulb measures 71 CRI, our eBay panel measured 73, and the no-name brand Big Panel measured 76. All of this I would not recommend for photography or videography. And actually, we had two good tests. One with Amaran's AL528, which gave out a CRI of 86, which is pretty okay for video and audio. And we tested Aperture's HR672 lights, which gave out an astounding CRI of uh, 96, which is almost perfect. Now, I'm going to be following up with a review, both for the Lighting Passport and for the Amaran lights. Until then, when you go out and shop for LEDs, make sure that you know the CRI that you're buying. It's a crucial decision for your photography. Until then, I'll be seeing you around. 